All right guys, Valentine's Day is coming up. You want a unique handmade gift for that special someone in your life? I suggest one of our roses. Weldityourselfkits.com. Let's go into how you can make one of these, or if you don't want to, you can buy them pre-made from us. Let's go. And stick around to the end of the video. I'll give you the biggest discount we've ever offered on these rose kits. Your order's gonna ship all nice and pretty, shrink wrapped in whatever quantity you order. It takes just a couple seconds to cut apart all the pieces. This is 20 gauge plasma cut steel. So you can cut it with standard tin snips. The only other tools you're gonna need are a basic set of pliers, whatever you're comfortable with, a heat source, map gas torch works great, oxyacetylene's faster, propane will even work, but it's slower. A forge would be the best any sort of welder. This doesn't have to be something fancy. We're just gonna be tacking thin metal to the shaft of your choice. Your stems do not come included with the kit. The reason for this is I can only ship a 13 inch stem with the economy way these are shipped. And that's really not long enough for what I think a rose looks good at. And the increase for me to purchase and then pay for bigger shipping is actually more than what it's gonna cost you by a fair bit to just go get stems of whatever choice size you want at your local metal yard or even a Lowe's or Home Depot, they're gonna carry this. These stems are 3 16 inch rod. If you wanna use quarter inch, you're more than welcome to. You just may need to open up some of the holes in your kits. The way you do that is turn down a piece of quarter inch rod to have a point on it and hammer that through the holes to open them up. Trying to drill these out is not the best idea unless you have a good way to clamp them down, like putting them in a vise. Your call there, be safe. So the assembly of these is pretty simple. You're gonna start with the smallest of the five pedal sections, tack that onto the end of the piece of the rod that you're using for the stem. Heat up each pedal individually, bend them up into a nice little twisted spiral, whatever, center of a rose. If at any point you want to add some texture to the pedals, you're more than welcome to do so. The simplest way is just to hit them by hand with a cold chisel. That will give them some striations just like a natural pedal will. You'll also notice that there's still dross on these from the plasma cutter. We chose not to spend the time to remove those so we can bring these to you at a lower price. As you heat the pedals up and bend them, most of that dross is just going to flake right off. If you really want to, you're more than welcome to grind them. Just make sure you have your pieces clamped down in a safe manner. 20 gauge is gonna wanna spin up or fly off or get twisted up in your grinder. I don't wanna see any of you guys getting hurt. After you've bent and formed the first ring of pedals, the second, third, and fourth rings go on just the same way. Slide them up from the bottom, tack them into place, heat them up, and then bend to shape. Make sure you're heating all the way up to the center of the pedal section so that you don't end up kind of blowing out each one into a bigger and bigger bowl. The fifth and final section of pedals goes on just like the four before, except I like to flare them out a little bit at the top, make them have a little bit of a rollover or S shape, just like a natural rose would. Please note that the final option that we decided to bring to the market is a little bit smaller than the ones you see on video. They just felt too big for my taste. Once you've got all your pedals assembled, bent, and looking the way you want, slide up the five-sided star-looking leaf piece and bend that down. I like to put a little bit of an S shape on it. Lastly, you're gonna have a final piece that has two pedals on it. You can install them together onto the stem and have them opposed 180 degrees from each other. I prefer to cut it in half and stagger them on the stem, giving them a bit of a twirl as they hug the stem coming up, just like a natural rose would have. You also have the option of tacking one of those leaves down to the stem and then heating it up to a real red hot glow and just twisting it off. It'll leave you with a little bit of a thorn looking piece that's sharp, but not so sharp you're gonna cut yourself on it. As for finishing, I really think that just the natural blued steel from the heating for bending it is a pretty cool look. If you guys wanna make it look a little bit darker and shinier, hit it with a clear coat. It really darkens the steel up. 
If you want to do something more creative, feel free to paint them. You can acid dip the petals and then let them rust to make them a little bit more red. The great thing about these is they're handmade, they're unique, and every single one is gonna have your name on it and uh, be different. Now, if you don't wanna go through the trouble of building one of these or you just want something cool from the shop here in Oklahoma City, I am more than happy to send you some of our pre-assembled ones. Myself, Tommy, and the intern have been working on building some. We've got a couple different styles. They're all available on the website. The link's in the description below to those ones. They're not public. We will box those up and ship them out priority mail to you. They'll be to you in a couple days. Speaking of shipping, Valentine's Day is coming up. These all ship out flat rate. It's generally two day anywhere in the country. Some of the extremities are gonna be a three day. Every order that's ordered before 3 p.m. Central Time will ship same day. We want you to have these in time to put these together as a surprise gift for your special someone, or I might suggest Work on them together or maybe get your kids involved as a present for mom. Now these roses are offered in a pack of three, six, or 12. With the six and the 12, we throw an extra one in there so you have a chance to make a mistake or maybe if we made a mistake, you won't hold it against us. You're paying for six, you're getting seven. You're paying for 12, you're getting 13. If one's messed up, we're not giving you a refund. But hey, if everything comes out perfect, you got a dozen for the wife and one for the side, somebody else. So if you guys want to pick some of these up and make somebody in your life a special gift, we're going to have the link down in the description there at weldityourselfkits.com. Code VALENTINES is going to get you 20% off from now until the day. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe try the project out yourself. I thank everyone who sent pictures in so I could feature them in this video. I'm sorry if I missed your picture or forgot to include it. If you guys want to get yourself a kit, link's going to be right there. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, there's going to be a video over here. And thank you to all these fine folks here who are helping me out over on Patreon, supporting what we're doing here at the shop. Until next time, thanks for stopping by.